You are listening to Keep It Real with Terry and Sonny. And today again, we're going to have another video, another episode of the exciting adventure of the Word of God. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's so, so much to learn. I mean, you can spend your whole life. And I know people that do that. They, they like, they're like professors. They go so much of the Word. And, uh, and, and they still don't know everything, you know? Exactly. I mean, so it's so much. And with every situation, every circumstances, everything you go through, you can find in the Bible. It already happened. Yep. And you can find out, you can find out what they did. Right. Or what they didn't do. You know, you know, either, either they followed God, listened to God, or they, or they, or they you know, you know, yeah. or they, they, yeah, they made a lot. Of, they made a lot of mistakes, you yeah. know. And uh, I, I think, I thank God that they made those mistakes because you know what? It, it taught us how mm -hmm. not to make the same mistakes. Amen. And today we're gonna continue on our, our series on uh, on uh, and uh, well, last week was the first one, and uh, it was your financial harvest. And since we say financial, we're talking about money. money. Don't turn us off. You know, we're talking about moolah, moolah. We're talking about money, money, money. Okay, now. Don't worry, we're not going to ask for a dime, okay? We just want to present the Word of God about it. That's all, you know? Might ask, so God. Get, no. might, might ask the Lord for a dime, though. Yeah, he can ask God. But anyway, so that's what we're talking about, your financial harvest, okay? And um, we, and last week, you know, it, it's it, we, it, we're all about talking about laws and principles, okay? Because there's uh, quite a few of them that apply to your harvest, your financial harvest, okay? Uh and last week, the very first thing you got to do, the very first thing you got to do, yeah, someone that's home, the very, very first thing is that you got to sow it. You got to put it in the ground. Right. Okay, you got to put, that's what we talk about. You got to, you got to, so you got all these seeds here. You got to take one of these, you know, and it's a very simple, I think we all know this, you know, if you want it to grow, you got to put it in the ground. And by, and remember I told you last week that I, I've been having these seeds in my drawer, forgot about them, didn't know, I didn't even know I had them in there. So, so I was digging for something and I found them the other day. And eight, eight years ago, they've been sitting in my drawer for eight years. Did they, did they benefit me? Did they help me? No, they didn't do anything. They didn't multiply. They didn't do anything because I didn't put them in the ground. So that's, that's what we talked about last week. And we went off the scripture that uh, John 12, 24. And uh, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat falls unto the ground, it abides alone. So in other words, God's in the law of multiplying. So, but this one seed, if you don't put it in the ground, it won't even have a chance. I mean, there's a lot of things you got to do, but it's got to be put in the ground. Or you, it won't have a chance to multiply. Okay? You, you're always going to have that one seed, you know? So that's a very important principle. You got to put it in the ground. And when you come to your money, you got to sow it. You got to give it. You got to give it. If you don't give your money... It, it, won't, it won't grow. Won't multiply. Exactly. You only want to have what you got. You know? Exactly. Right. It won't grow. Um, you want to share? Yeah, yeah you know, I was thinking about what you were saying and everything. And, um, you know, <clears throat> see I, <clears throat> excuse me, see if we see it right, is necessity is the mother of invention. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a lot right now, everybody's went through some hard times and everything. Right. Like with the whole time, with the whole thing happening, the coronavirus, for one year, everybody was locked down. Mm -hmm. A lot of people lost their financial situations. Right. And a lot of people had, you know, you hear about the great resignation, people quitting jobs. And mm -hmm. everybody's realizing that time's short and, you know, they, could, they don't want to keep wasting their life doing something they don't right, want to right. do and everything. But in that... You know, a lot of times is when, when you when you come out of those situations, great things come out of that. You know Amen. what I'm saying? People come up with good ideas. They come up with new thing inventions. They come up with new new things like um like the Peloton thing with the bicycle, right. the bicycle with a, with a screen. A couple of years back, you would never even heard of that. But that just blew up. Right, Why it blew right. up? Because everybody was home to think. So pe people people met somebody's need, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and when you meet you meet somebody's need, and and you know I was well, listening to Dave, Dave Ramsey. Uh, a couple of days ago and he was saying you know and it says it in the bible too is that when you meet a need mm -hmm. god will bless you amen i don't know if you ever heard that guy brother uh it's Ra rabbi lapin lapin 
Joseph Rabbi Joseph Lapin, he's this Jewish uh, yeah, thing, yeah. Jewish rabbi, and he talks about how why the Jewish people are so blessed, mm -hmm. and he explains that what he said what they do is they meet a need that somebody needs, Praise God. and when yeah, you meet a need, God mm -hmm. will bless you. That's but but you gotta but but, but Terry, the thing, this is the thing you gotta serve right. to be able to meet a need. That's right, you gotta serve because you see you see you look at money. Uh -huh. what, what do they call money? Money is called currency. Right, right. Cur Currency means current means to go from one place to another place. That's good. That's one good. place to another place. It's yeah. got to travel. Yeah. And just like you said, like you were saying earlier, you have to sow it right. into somebody right. else's That's life good. for God to be able to bring it back to you. Like you know what I'm saying? You, it's like it's got to be a current. It's got to move back yeah, and like forward. Yeah, current, like electricity. You can, you, you, it you, can, it, you can go to one place to the next, but you can't reduce it. But right. putting a reducer in it. Right. And you can choke it. You right. Can and, and, and you can't, you can store it, but it's only going to stay yeah. so good. Right. If you put a battery in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a building so for so long, it'll go dead on you eventually. Yeah, it will. Even if you will. never it use yeah. it, yeah. you never yeah. do nothing with the battery. Right. The, the battery just has a certain shelf life. Mm -hmm. And no matter what you do, you can do everything you want to do but it'll still die right, right and that's the same way it is with money your money that's why your money is called currency if you yeah. don't use it yeah. it won't uh, tear if uh, uh, about about, a, about 10 years ago 20 years ago maybe i remember when i was a little boy my parents could buy a whole but oh. we used to buy a whole load of buggy full of groceries uh, for a hundred dollar yeah, bill yeah back in the day yeah one hundred dollar bill. They would get a buggy full of groceries. Now that same hundred dollar bill, you can only buy oh, two, yeah. three bags of groceries mm -hmm. now. That's why. Because it's losing its, it's value. Good. And that's the world system. I, exactly. I'm glad you brought it up, son. This is that's the world system. This dollar is almost getting way worth the paper they're printing on. Exactly. You know, you know, it, it's losing its value. But God's way, He it'll, multiplies. Exactly. He'll multiply. I mean, you barely can buy anything. Well, you. you you can't hardly buy any food. How much food? Maybe no. Maybe, buy a bag or two groceries. Now. <laughs> I mean, you know, y'all know that 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 you can't buy a whole lot of uh, food or whatever with a hundred dollar bill anymore. No but with, through God's system, if you do obey Him, you do all these laws we're talking about. It's gonna multiply. You know, you know. I mean, you, it's gonna multiply because and that's what we basically talk. We're talking about the. Uh, the releasing of the, the 30, 60, and 100 fold. Exactly. That's what God says. Because God's a God of good deals. Yes. You know, and I try to tell it to people all the time, you know, and, and, and what happens is, God, will t if you give God your, his 10%, uh -huh. God will make the 9% go further. Yes, yes, right. He'll make, well, he blesses you. Because he blesses you with you just know? a good deal. Like something that you would have paid, uh, like I've seen, I, I, I can't even begin to describe how many times I needed something, and when I needed it, I either found it, mm -hmm. For free mm -hmm. on the side of the road or right. some anywhere or somebody gave it to me or something like that, or like like I was I told my wife I said I'm believing God for a barbecue I was believing God for a barbecue because right, right, right. that barbecue pit got destroyed destroyed from the storm and everything I was believing God for a good barbecue pit. Now I remember I looked barbecue was about two three hundred dollars for a nice barbecue right, pit right, two right. three hundred dollars for a barbecue pit. Well, I kept, I'm talking about I'm believing God for a barbecue pit, believing God for a barbecue pit. Well, the other day I bought a gas grill. With th with with uh, three burners, uh, uh, stainless steel burners, everything for a hundred dollars. A brand new barbecue pit, a nice size one too, and everything. A big one. Right, right. They got, they got almost uh, two with two sh two racks on it for a hundred dollars. See, God, but everywhere else before I was looking, but 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 our tide mm -hmm. and it, it, it plows the way to cut the ground up it so does, you can get good does, deals. Does. You know. Every morning I pray this because it's Jehovah that provides. Okay? Exactly. In, the, in my, uh, when I start off with, I will follow who what in heaven, how it be thy right. name. How it be thy name is that you just praise his name back yeah. to him, you know. You proclaim who he is and to you. Right. You know? And part of it, the benefit we get through the blood of Jesus is that Jehovah, Jehovah that provides. He knows what you need before you even ask him. Right. He provides it. And I'm not saying wants, I'm saying needs. Okay. Exactly. You know? Now, when you get this well, thing, he does, I think he does. He does. Let's get more say that. When you start rolling with this thing a lot, he wants to bless you. So, so a lot of right. times you get the wants, but right. you got to get that. You got to you got to go with the needs, you know? right? You know, uh, exactly. Right. I pray that every morning, and you know, because uh, because like you're saying, if you give to him and with the right right heart and joyful giving, and you do use these principles we teaching you, you know, God's gonna God blesses it. Right. He stretches it. He blesses it. Cause you gave, you gave what you're supposed to give, and he's gonna bless. He's, I mean, you give the ten percent, he's gonna bless the ninety cent, ninety percent. Yeah. He's gonna make it. He's gonna all of a sudden, you all know, of a sudden, it's gonna stretch. You go, you have enough. You know, there, 
And you know, I, I it's kind of seems it, it's hard to to, to to do it because it kind of seems hard. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But you know, the number one industry in the world is insurance. Yeah. Everybody buys insurance. Right, everybody right, wants insurance. Right, right. Everybody feels that they yeah, need insurance. Yeah, yeah. But well, this is uh, your tithe yeah. is the best insurance you could ever that's buy. That's right, because because the, the insurance you buy insurance that's a holy early system. God says not like that. You know? No, God, no. God, 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 God says, open, he will bet. open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that you cannot contain. Right. He's you know a sure bet. He's a sure bet. Yeah. You know? I mean, you're not taking a chance. It's not like no. a drawing or something, a raffle. No. no. Yeah, it's there. Don't no, no, get me wrong. At the beginning, it's going to be slow. It's going to take time. It slow. takes time to build up and everything. Yeah. But yeah. boy, in the end, though, yeah. When, yeah. when you get there, when you're operating fully right. in the principle. Right. You know, I was, I, was, I, was, I was studying this week and I was reading how... What companies do, what companies do is, a comp when somebody makes a company, it'll build up to a certain point, okay? Right, right. But once it becomes to a certain point, mm -hmm. it has to change the way it grows because it can't grow no more. Right. And what it starts doing is, it starts buying up other companies. True. That's why you hear in the news that Apple's buying uh, this company for so many mm -hmm. million dollars, or Google's buying this company right. for so many million dollars. Or right now, you just heard of the big thing, uh, Elon Musk wants to buy Twitter. You know what I'm saying? For for fifty four dollars, I think it's fifty four dollars thirty cents a share. You know what I'm saying? And all it's like thirteen million, I think something like that. They start buying buying companies to grow. You know, it's the same way with us. Mm -hmm. All right. We're, at the beginning, there's a certain things we can do, mm -hmm. and God will bless it. That's it. But you gotta get, but you gotta get to the point. One day you get to the point where you move past that, yeah. and then you then you got then when you start operating that principle, you you move past right, that. Right, right. You know, I, I you know I was reading this morning about uh with the Jews how you remember how when God blessed them or we talk about uh the supernatural harvest and everything, but God poured out get God gave them all the gold and silver and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, and he talked about how they made the golden calf, right. but when they made the golden yeah. calf. Actually, the person that they stole the money from when they bought making the golden calf was themselves. Yeah, yeah. They took their own their own blessings to make the golden calf because God still made them make the temple. Right. They still made the tabernacle. They still yeah. made the uh, the the, oh, the, yeah. the the ark of uh, the covenant, and yeah. they had to lay it all. Those can't things, do, do, do God the blank thing God wanted. Yeah, God you can't still change did. God's will. No, right. you got to. You, you gotta but you can rob will. yourself. You can rob yourself of your own blessing. Right. You, then that's the same way it is when we when we do things in our lives. Mm -hmm. We're not going to stop what God's doing. No, no. God is going to do what He do. Look, there's an old saying: If you got, you don't want God to use you. God will use somebody else. That's true. That's he, it. But that's He will it. get that's His will it. done, that's that's and it. that's what happens in our life. Right. It's up to us to choose mm -hmm. if we want to be part of what God's doing. Because God's going to bless. God's going to do what He's got to do. Mm -hmm. He's going to make the way for what He wants to do get done. But if, it's up to us if we want to be. Part Part of that. That's right. That's and then right. we want to enjoy in that. Amen. amen. And that's what we want to do. That's what we're trying to get them across right, today. Right. Get you where you can be part amen. of that. That's what all these laws and principles are. Uh, so the first one, again, is uh, you, 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 your seed's got to be planted. And uh, Genesis 8.22 says, while the earth remains, you know, it says that always going to have seed time and harvest. That will never stop. So long as we got an earth, we'll have seed time and harvest. Okay. Meaning, whatever you sow, it's going to reap. If it's good stuff, exactly. you're going to, it's going to be good stuff. If you sow bad stuff, it's going to be bad. Unfortunately, stuff. yeah. If it's if it's food or plants or anything like that, trees, trees, it's going to grow. Okay, you plant it right, it's going to grow. If it's money, and we're talking about money, if you sow the money, it's going to come the way God wants you to do yep. it. It's going to come. Okay, it's going to come. Uh, and as a seed time, it is it, it, it's, it's planting your seed all the way to the harvest. It's the seed time. You know, right. it's the seed time. You got, but you got to plant it first. You got to put it in the ground, and you got that time, and it's gonna have a harvest, okay? But the harvest part, it, when it does happen, it multiplies. Right. And that's the whole thing we're trying to talk that it multiplies. If you plant, plant it, whatever seed you plant, it, you put it in the ground, and you do all, you take care of it, and do all, all the things uh, that we're gonna talk about later. It's going to grow. It's going to grow and it's going to multiply. And that's right. the thing. God multiplies. That's why he says in the Bible that it could be 30, 60, 100 fold. He's all about multiplying. Okay. So the, so uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, you must render your seed useless. After you put it in the ground, you got to say you, you have no more ties to it. You know? Cool. That's and that's like, and you don't walk away. A farmer don't plant something in the ground and then five minutes later he goes dig us up. Oh, you doing Okay. 
You growing? Or he puts puts it back, and maybe I'm, uh, maybe at the end of the day he goes oh, digging it up, looking at it. I'm guilty of that. <laughs> well, well, no, no. A farmer knows the principles. He knows I me. Mean, he sows it in good ground, you know, and he does all other things he has to do. It's going to grow and it's going to produce, produce, multiply. But he he's got so he's got to almost forget about it, you know, you know, forget about it. But besides take care of, take care of all the things that keep exactly. you healthy, keep it healthy, you know. And, and we got to do the same thing with money. You know, uh, if you're going to sow this, sow this in the kingdom of God, well, this is a hundred dollar bill, but if it be, whatever it is, you're going to sow this in, and this is hard. It's not easy because it's yeah. valuable to us because we work for it. Right. And it's valuable. You know, we want more of these. We don't want, you know, we don't want to be right. giving it away, but that's the opposite of God. Say so you give, you got to be a giver. So when you give this in good soul, you know, you give this in good soul, you know, and, and you got to. You gotta forget about it. Right. You're saying, you, you gotta have faith, faith to believe, but you but you gotta leave it alone. You can't go. You can't say, "Well, I'm giving this hundred dollars to the church, and they better buy some. You better buy this or buy that." You know, no, you you, you ain't got control of it no more. You know, you right. you know. Uh, well, exactly, exactly, and you know, and even if you if it's not a hundred dollars, twenty dollars, five dollars, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever you can afford and everything, because because uh, and God can bless that from any any, any angle. But you know, another thing too is. Um, what I find a lot of times is, is, is when people do that, but when, 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 but if you don't release it, if I tell you, if you I don't release, release it, it gotta release it. As long as I got it in my hand, I can say, yeah, I, I like, give it to you. Yeah, yeah, if you don't yeah. never, but if I don't yeah. never let right, it go, right. it's it, it, yeah. still, it's still I, I, mine. I, I, I'm, think, I'm not, I never, think it a lot. I never think it a lot. It. It's like, yeah, you're right. It's like, I gotta release it. That's call it tight wad. I say tight wad. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you this, but then they want to grab it. <laughs> I don't, like you don't want to let it go. Wait, you tell somebody else to do with it, and it's, yeah. it's not yours. There's not yeah. theirs. You know, when you give something to somebody, yeah. you, you, when, and people down here in this area are really good about giving. They, they bless people. You know, you yeah. go to their house, they want to bless you. They want to do. Mm -hmm. Actually, so you want some drink, you want some drink, yeah, you know, yeah. this or that. You know what I'm saying? You're hungry or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You want to bless people, but the, but the, but they're good with that. But we we a lot of time we miss on the aspect of the of the real blessing. Right. The real blessing is being able to just sow, mm -hmm. you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, into the kingdom. And, and you know, it, it's good to bless one another mm -hmm. and we should do that. I, I believe God we should do that. Yeah. But the sowing in the kingdom part mm -hmm. is where the real blessings lie. It's multiplication. Because that's when you're bringing in that's when you're bringing in souls. Yes. Yeah. Multiplication. That's what God does. When you do this right. You, you, which you're, like again, we told you this before. You want this hundred dollar bill, or would you want all of this, all these hundred dollar bills, huh? Would, you know, who would who would say no to that? Right. You know, I mean, you know, and c c God multiplies. He multiplies, right. and he, and you know, you know, he's on, you know, he multiplies it. And when you give, you know what I mean, um, yeah. And you know what, Terry, I, I'll be honest with you. You're never gonna be completely satisfied with everything the pastor do. Because no, he's no. going to do something that's yeah. going to rub you the wrong way. I don't agree with everything my pastor does. Uh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But I trust him enough yeah. Yeah, okay. where I know what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Because he's the lay, he's the lay head and, I, right. and I'm not. Uh, you know what I'm no. saying? God has put him in that position. So I have to trust him that what, what he's doing is mm -hmm. what God's telling him well, to do. That means I got to say self. I don't always know best. Right. Well, you don't. And I got to trust that. And I got to trust that God. <laughs> don't, he's, he's putting that position. Because you know what, Terry? Once I release it, mm -hmm. I'm not accountable for it no more. No. no it's no, not. It's no. not my responsibility no more no, to be lord over that money. That's that's Whoever I give it to is that God holds them accountable mm -hmm. now. True. I don't. I don't. That's so why I don't need to that's worry right. about it anymore. Right. Account, my accountability of what that money is is no exactly longer in place. Exactly. That, that 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 law is right there. You know, it's you must rend it. Your seed use exactly. We're talking about money. money. Seeds. Yeah, you're not a car before. You don't no, worry no. about. Because look, look, what they that that you know, I, I don't quite buy into that theology that if somebody else does bad stuff, the bad bad stuff over the, over the over the money, mm -hmm. that it's gonna hurt your harvest. It won't, it won't. Because no. you're not accountable to it no more. No, I believe no, to some, maybe no. to some extent, but I believe God can see past that. Because if God told you to sow yes. a seed right. and put it in the ground, right. and you did what you were supposed right. to do, right. I don't see why God will punish right. you for somebody right. else's sins. That's right. He doesn't do no, that. That's not do him. That. There's other laws and principles. If you break, might stop it. That you that you hurt that, your own seed. Right, right. It's not. But it's you. Not, it's, but do what you said. No. No. Yeah. Because what they're doing, I don't see that hurt. My seed. No, that's no. between them and the Lord. No. I see that hurting me, their seed. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna believe that God's gonna uh you pray and God put you in this church, and that's why God wants you in this church and you want to get rooted in this church, but then you're supposed to give to this church. Right. You know? 
That's the, that's the ground. That's the ground. Now you know you know off 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 find Terry is if if okay let's say uh the pastor let's say the pa I give I give the pastor hundred pastor I want to sow a hundred dollars in the missions to feed the hungry children in right, in, right. in in Afghanistan and you give him a hundred dollars and yeah. then you say okay my and then, because the Lord told you to give do that mm -hmm. you did it now the pastor takes it and he and he said and he takes a hundred dollars and he said well I'm going to give it to the to the to the, to the hungry children in Mexico instead right right right. right. Because every, we got a big pot, but I'm just gonna give it over there, and right. he's like, and he doesn't give it to the ones in right. Afghanistan. And you're like, I can't believe you took my hundred dollars and gave it to the hundred right. children right. in Africa. Tell you, it sounds and silly, but people do that. People do that. They get all upset about it and everything. I sold it right there. Why didn't he give it? Why I told him to give it out and everything. And then you say, I'm out, I ain't, I don't get nothing from my harvest. And boom, there's the lightning that just killed your harvest. It, yeah. You just spoke yeah. it over it right. and right. said that I'm not well, gonna get nothing from my harvest. And because you said it. that, yeah. you killed your harvest, right. not the pastor. Right. You know, when you're growing something like a farmer, he's gonna he's gonna make sure the ground's all right. He's gonna exactly. till it, till it. He's gonna fertilize. What he's got to do, he's gonna make sure it's all good. All right, when he plants the seed, then he's gonna come back, make sure that the, all the weeds stay out of it, all the bugs stay out of it. Uh, you know, he's gonna water when it's supposed to be watered. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna do all that. Okay, you know. But sometimes, like like you know, we give the money, and, and sometimes we allow we allow like the things we do, like you were saying, it stops it. I mean, yeah, you're not taking it. care of it properly. You're not doing. I mean, we have a lot more uh, laws to talk about than we'll get to that. that these, if you don't do them, you you won't stop the whole right. You can you know? speak. You you speak bad it's, over your seed. It's like because like, the body, your words create life and death. It's like you have a picture. This guy has has a, a lot of chickens, a lot of chickens, and they're all fenced in. But what happens when the little foxes get in there? When the foxes get it, what happened? They kill. They, they kill start them. killing some for sure. They kill. They, they kill, and that's the same thing that happens if you don't follow these rules. These laws. Well, not only that, not only that, but you know, you talking about the foxes. The, what happens mm -hmm. is the foxes come in one night. He'll eat one chicken. Yeah, one or two chickens. Mm -hmm. And then, but then the thing about it is. He'll come back again the next night and eat one or two chickens. Right. He'll come back the next night and eat one or two chickens. He'll keep doing it as long yeah. as you allow him to come in and keep doing it. That's right. You was not to the part where you where you're waiting outside or you or you make a way to stop the fox that he right. if not that, that he got a resource there and he's gonna come keep coming and coming right, and coming. Right. And that's how the enemy come. Amen. If you allow him to come into your finances or into your life and he get in, yeah. you know, a lot of times there, I see I just seen these things happen in my life. Things will start happening. Things will start breaking. Mm -hmm. And I and the next thing you know, one thing will break. And next thing you know, another thing will break. Yeah, yeah. And next thing you know, another thing will break. Right, right. And I and I and I'm like, no. I got enough of this. I, yeah. I, I call him. I said, right oh. now. Sometimes you got to do that. Not, you nothing else down. is going to break. Uh, and if, uh, I'm not spending no more money on nothing else. Break. Uh, Lord, it's between you and the enemy. You, 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 Bible said you gave us authority over him. We rebuke yeah. him right now yeah. over our stuff. And I rebuke that from happening. And you, because the first thing, the problem was, when the first thing broke, I didn't speak nothing. Right. Second thing broke, I didn't speak nothing. Right. But see, when the third thing broke, right. I was getting aggravated because right. I started noticing the pattern right. and everything. Right. I was like, no. Now, I had that authority to say it over that's the first it. thing. The key. The key. And I could have said the very first day but, right. but what happened was i didn't place no mind to it because i said well just one thing right you know it's just one thing right but it keeps happening mm -hmm. you know what i mean that's how the enemy come he'll yeah. come in and he'll and he'll attack your finances and he'll come small mm -hmm. but if you keep allowing him to do right, it right and he'll keep doing it and doing it and doing it until you got you you're allowing nothing. it you're allowing it uh that's the whole thing you know you gotta put as, your foot as, down yeah, because as a child of god as a christian as as accepting lord jesus you know you have the authority Satan's defeated. Okay, he's defeated. Right. Defeated, but you have and you have the authority over that. But that don't mean he's going to stop trying to attack you. No, you got to put you your know, foot down. You got to put your foot down, like I say, and and, and and take that authority and tell him and use the word of God and get after him, and then yeah. and he'll stop. He'll stop. And you got to stop it sometimes because uh, uh, the enemy would make sure. Or you say you're a Christian, or you say you got Jesus in your heart. I'm gonna try. I'm, and that's he's gonna test you. He's gonna try you. And if you say, and even if you haven't, if you just sit back, he's just gonna rob you blind. Right. And a lot of times you don't even notice it. When you start catching on, that's when you need to you yeah, need to get yeah. into it. You, know you have the power and authority to stop that. Yeah. You know, and nine nine point nine 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 all the way down to all the decimals all the way out for nine as far as I go. When I when I when I when I when I, when I catch on to it and yeah. I start saying stop, it usually stops. And it, we need to learn how to take care of this. Why? And because right. we're just talking about that. But if you allow this thing to grow, grow, grow. Not putting your foot down, and taking your authority, it could get worse because right. if because 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 of, of a sin, you know the, the the thing about money is I I find Terry is yeah. you know God wants us to be blessed.
each and every person. He wants right, you to right. have exceedingly abundantly above all you can actually think of. Right. You know, and a lot of Christians are not living like that because mm -hmm. they don't take the time. Right. To learn the principles, right, right. They don't take yeah. the time take to learn time what God and, is doing. And then you got to apply them, like you said. And then you, you, you didn't take the then, and then you after you learn it, then you got to apply it. You know what right. I'm saying? You, look, it doesn't happen by accident, right? It, it, you know, you don't get me wrong. You can, you, you why would you want to live a life that's an accidental life? That's right, that's right. You know, you don't want to live that kind of right. life. You're why, right. why, why, why? Okay, if something good happens to me, praise God. If something bad happens to me, praise God. Right. You right. know, you 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 can live like that if you want to. Yeah. But God true. doesn't want you to live like that. And, and we're not talking about salvation. We we, we, we you already saved. You you know you saved. You go. We're not talking about that. This won't send you hell or nothing. What we talking about? It's just that if you do these things, you will live a lot better life on this earth right and then you'll be you know, a blessing and you'll be a blessing that's what it's all about you know that's what you know god wants to bless you because he loves you and cares for you but he wants to bless you so you can be a blessing to others right. you know you know and that's what this whole the whole thing set up like that you know god's right. a giver and, you, and, and, and as you give it and when he tells you he'll bless it okay so right. uh, it's good and so, you know i want to say one thing to you before uh, we get too yeah, far gotta, and everything share the scripture too and um you know a lot of people might say, oh, well, you know, I know you, I know you, y'all not no wealthy, wealthy people and everything. And so how, well, why do y'all get off telling us how to, how to, uh, how to, how to get wealthy? Yes. But you know what the thing about it is? We are both out of debt. Yeah. I'm out we of owe debt. nobody out of debt. nothing. No, no. So we, we're, 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 we're speaking from, we're, and, but we was in debt well, greatly, was, both of I us. I was, I was. I lived up paycheck to paycheck. And then you know, and uh, you know, but I, but I learned a lot more by, by giving too. Exactly. About so we've we been there. About. We've been there. We've done that. Mm -hmm. We know what it's like to be in debt up to your eyeballs. I look. I went ba bankruptcy. Right. I was so far in debt. Right. I had to go bankruptcy. Yeah. I just couldn't. There was no way to escape. I've been there, and I know what it's like. And you've been there. You yeah. know what it's like. Mm -hmm. And we both. God has blessed us both to be able to get out of debt. To have your. Cars paid off, your house paid off, you know, and because uh, there's so much other things that want to take your money. You know what I mean? So exactly, you know, you, exactly. You know? And so, you know, I learned, and you know, what, what, what changed my whole attitude with money was, is I learned one principle, and it really, really changed my life, was that the money was mine to keep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For the longest time, I, as soon as I made money, I just wanted to give it all the way to everybody else. Right, right. And I didn't, but I never con, con, contradict, uh, uh, took, uh, let's see if I say the word. I never took into concept the principle that the money was mine. Yeah, yeah. I thought as soon as I make the money, yeah. I got to give it to everybody else. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what everybody else does. Just That's make it. the money, yeah, give yeah. it away. Make the money, you give it away. Right. And keep the currency going. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the, the but the, and, and that's okay. That's okay. But you gotta have save some for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I yeah. learned was yeah, yeah. I was stealing. Yeah, yeah. I was stealing from the old man. Right, right. I was I was stealing from myself. And when I mean by myself, I was stealing from myself forty years down the line. Mm -hmm. I was stealing from myself thirty years down the right, line. Right. I was stealing from myself twenty years down the line. And 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 see, God wants God wants you to bless that man. Amen. Amen. He wants you. The reason why you're sowing today right. is to bless that man right. that's gonna come along twenty years from now. Yeah. The man, the man that you're gonna be. That's right. you. That's the one you're setting up. The seed you're sowing now is blessing him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he's he's the one that's gonna be reaping it in the harvest. Right. It's not a lot of times. It's not the man that's alive right now yeah, that's gonna reap the harvest. It's your older man that's gonna right. reap the harvest, or the older woman that's gonna reap your harvest. Yeah, the, the thing is, is to get what you're doing it a while. Exactly. You got a harvest coming in a little bit all the time. Exactly. And, and, and then since you're giving more, because you give because you're getting more. That harvest is getting bigger and bigger. Exactly. And when we get twenty years down there, you you, got you, you bless. Bitch, you know? Exactly. You but bless. it's not because you know you know it's because you did what you just said. You took the time and you did it right. Exactly. But we forget about that older person. Yeah, yeah. We get in the lifestyle where we're living for the now, right. and we forget that we're going to get old one day. Yeah. yeah. And we're always thinking about what we need now, right. what I need now, what right. I need now. But we keep. But you know what I found about now? Now wants everything. Yeah, he wants it all now. Well, like I said we live in this microwave world. Where exactly. Okay, I'll do that, but I want my harvest. No, it's it's God's timing, and you know it might be a reason why you're not getting your harvest. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. God knows. And you, 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 just because you do all this, you don't expect that like the next day. What's my harvest? What's my harvest? What's exactly. my harvest? It, it can't work like that. Time. And sometimes you know? it's like if I, mean, I plant, you know, yeah, if yeah. I plant this seed. Look, it says right here. Okay, this seed right here. If I plant this seed, it says it's gonna take sixty days. Yeah, 
to before I can even harvest anything out of it. Right. 60 days. So I'm going to plant this seed in the ground today, and I won't have nothing for 60 days. Right. There, in God's world, there is no now. No, and then those, you can't wait those 60 days. You want it, you you want want it, you want it the next then day. Then you got to eat the seed. Oh, that's right, and that's really what I was getting right. to down here. But but I got to bring you two scriptures, the scriptures out for today. Actually, the scripture for this lesson, and we're talking about you must render your seed useless. It's going back to the same scripture as last week. Is John 12, 24. But I want to, I don't know if you caught this. When I, last week, we were talking about you have to plant the seed. And I said, verily, verily, I, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat falls unto the ground, it abides alone. But you notice, I took some, some parts out. If, if you, if you were there and, and studied this scripture, you saw I didn't put, I, 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 I did that on purpose. Because it said what I need to say for, for you, that, by planting your seed, but but I'm, now I'm, I'll put the whole scripture today, and it's going to apply. It's going to apply that you have after you plant it, you have to uh, you have to uh, render it useless, okay? And then I'm going to say the whole scripture today. Now, the ones that study this and read that, they probably say, "Hey, skip some of it, man." But I got a reason. Watch, watch. It says that. See if I can do it. I'm messing it up. It says it's the same one. John uh, twelve twenty four it says, "Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man." Uh, uh, Excuse me. Except a corn of wheat falls unto the ground and dies, okay, and dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it brings forth fruit, exactly. and that's the multiplication. <laughs> and that's why I left that out, because because the because the, the last week that what the way I said it applies to you have to plant, okay, right. This one it applies you got to plant and you got and you got to let it die, right. So you can't go back and. You know, dig it out. Right, the seeds gotta dry up. It's gotta dry up. You know, the seed don't. You know, if you find if you if you just take some corn out of the can, you put it in the right, ground, right. it's not gonna grow. Yeah. It's, it hasn't dried up. Right. It's dead. It's useless. Right. And you know what? You kind of mentioned on that. See, unplanted seed has some use, has some benefit. Right. Okay. All right. Because because uh, seed can be ground into a meal. You can make bread. You can make desserts. You can make dressing with seeds. Okay. You, you know. Right. Yeah. But so but the, but. And you can feed cattle and livestock, and even some wild game could, could, could feed off your seeds. So, but the thing is, you can go buy a big old bag of seed, and you can make meal. You can make some food out of that. You grind it, crush it up. You can. But how long? How many how many meals you gonna get out of that? Exactly. How long that's gonna last? You right. know? No, you have to plant these seeds so it can multiply. So you can have plenty, 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 plenty. Right. You know? You know? You know? Now, even wrong, you get to a place where you do you do have some. You have extra. <clears throat> you can decide right to eat some of your seeds, but if you're yes, in a place where you only you have to. one seed, you gotta plant it. Yeah, and there's a place where you got five, ten seeds, and you gotta plant it. But when you get to you got you got millions of seeds, uh -huh. then you can eat a few seeds and still have enough to plant. You know what I mean? It's just like a farmer. You know, you don't go to the store and buy his seeds and just eat his seeds. He buys his seeds, he plants yeah, the seeds, yeah, yeah. so he can build a harvest. He knows that principle. Then, he, then he he's going to save the seeds, or he's going to have money to go buy more seeds right, so he can right. plant it again. Yeah. You got to keep the cycle going. Right. You know, you can eat some of it. Mm -hmm. You got to plant some of it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? God don't want you to give it all. Exactly. He wants you to get, keep a part for yourself, that, for your needs. That's how he provides your needs. And then with the leftover... You can say, and you even save a little bit, but but the le but right. the, the extra you got to give, you know, and then exactly. it'll multiply, it'll multiply and grow, you know, uh, yeah, because uh, exactly, exactly, exactly. So you know what, guys, uh, um, you know, it, I've been thinking about, it, just kind of pondering in my mind, you know, what God's saying today and everything, and. You know, we all come into, we, we're all guilty of it. I'm guilty of it. Terry's guilty of it. We're all guilty of eating seeds. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just human nature. You know, so don't feel bad. You no, know, don't feel if bad. If you're listening, you know, and you, and you feel like, uh, you know, I, I've been eating my seed. I'm not operating in that principle, you know, and everything. You know, you can always plant another crop. If you're alive, you can plant another yeah, crop. Yeah. You know, and you can start harvesting. Look, I didn't catch the vision of what God was doing until I was almost in my 40s. Yeah. You know what I'm me, saying? Me too. I didn't realize I was, I was always living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. I was all, I was in church serving God, paying my tithes, but I wasn't <laughs> operating in the principles. Right, right. The, the, you see, you can pay your tithes and not operate in the principles. Right. Because you, you're going to be blessed, but you're not, not going to be you really blessed. blessed. You know what I'm saying? You can, but you got to learn the principles. And the best way to learn the principles is to learn how to sow right, and reap. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because and you got, you got, you got to grow in those principles. Because you know, you start giving, like you said, I only got hundred dollar bills. Okay, so I, I can't. But but say you started with a hundred dollars. I'm just 
my example, you start with $100, okay? And then it will grow to uh, all these $100 bills, okay? Okay, now you, uh, you're you giving to God with the, and you're doing real well. You got all this money and you can give to God. But, but you know, why stop there? Because because for you know it, in time, it's going to be, you're going to get this much, all right? Exactly. You know? It just keeps growing. And it just keeps growing. And, you, and your your part grows more, you know, because that's your seed. I mean, you're not, you know, you got some seed you keep, right? And then, right. And, but you keep, but don't stop, don't stop. Uh, and then, then for you know it, it'll be that much, you know? Now, you know, now, if you got this much money coming in, your part, your part's going to become this part. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know? And from, from this, in time, it's going to become that, all right? Because you're giving this, okay? And, and if you got this much $100 bills, then you well off, okay? Right. You, you, that's when you got your needs and your wants. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But you know. That's just an a object lesson. I mean, you know, I like to pull my little play money. <laughs> yeah. So you know what? That's how you out there, and you you, you say, uh, you know what, Terry and Sonny, I'm not. I, I, I hear what you're saying, but I'm not operating in that principle. But I want to. And look, all you gotta do is ask the Lord. I say, Lord, help yeah, me. Yeah. Help me to do what is right. Help me to sow. Bring opportunities, and just start where you're at. And if you look, you can start off from. The Bible says you give a prophet a glass of water, yeah. and you'll get the prophet's reward. Amen. You know, but it, it can be something simple. But as far as even as much as giving a glass of water to a prophet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You God can use you anywhere. You just gotta have the heart of giving. Wherever you see a good opportunity to give, you just give. And if you have the heart to give, God will bless you. And you know, it might not be bringing you where you're stacked up, like loaded down like Terry. <laughs> but you know what? It, it'll be a place where you're comfortable and you're happy. And that and that's the biggest thing. Being in a place where you're comfortable and happy and your children are blessed and your children want for nothing and you, your home is blessed and there's peace in your house and everybody comes to Christmas, everybody gets along, nobody's fighting and everything. Yeah, yeah. You know, those are those are all the blessings of God. Amen, amen. You know, and, you know, we talk about money and that's a, that's a big part of the blessing, but it's not the only part. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So if, and if, that, if right. that's you, I want to pray right, over you. Right. Let me ask one thing. God only wants to do this. He loves you and cares for you. He wants to have your needs met. Okay, right. That's how he wants to do this. But it, it goes beyond that. Exactly. He wants to. He want. He wants you to have the money to give. When he tells exactly. you to give it, to give it into the kingdom of God. Exactly. And it's it's for this end time harvest. Exactly. End time, which we're all going through right now, and that's what it is. That's what it's all about. It's going to take a lot, a lot of money to, to, for this last, you know, to reach all the lost. Because remember. When when everybody gets saved, when, when it's gonna come a point when all everybody's gonna hear the gospel, and it's gonna, everybody's gonna be saved at that certain uh, whatever point that is, and and that's when God the Father will say, Jesus, it's time to go back and get your bride, you know, exactly. and that's what it's all about. But meanwhile, you could be living good. You know, but if you do these principles. Exactly. So, Father God, we just pray over each and every person out there, Lord God, that you would show them, Lord God, that you would lead them in God and help them to follow yes, your ways, yes, Lord yes. God. That, that whatever it may be, you start them off where they are at, Lord God, and bring them to where you want them at, Lord God. And I thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So, guys, make sure you like these videos and check us out on Spotify and Google and uh, Apple Podcasts. Mm -hmm. And if you're friends with us on Facebook, check us out on Facebook, on too. On Facebook, too, yeah. Be, and on, on YouTube, on Facebook, YouTube, we everywhere. <laughs> right, exactly. So we look forward to seeing y'all again next All week. Right. Y'all be blessed. Be blessed.